Hey guys, this is Amazing Tech. This is going to be a quick video around my experience with Microsoft's new Surface Headphone 2. I've been using these scans for a few weeks and uh, I surely have a few things to talk about it. When Microsoft released the first edition of Surface Headphone in 2018, it was priced a bit expensive and also it lacked the punch for a premium headphone. Except the price, it was no match for Sony's noise cancelling headphones at that point in time. Microsoft did make some great changes to these headphones that are very unique and also made this headphone so desirable. By reducing the price from $349 to $249, they have positioned this headphone at the very sweet spot. A $100 drop is, is huge. A quick look at the highlights. Microsoft has added 13 levels of active noise cancellation. It has an ultra comfortable set of ear pads, crystal clear omnisonic sound for great sound quality, dual mics for exceptional call quality, 20 hours of battery on a single charge. Here is my first impression. It got a great build. It feels premium and a bit heavy. Microsoft Surface team surely know how to bring uniqueness to the design. Apart from the touch and tap controls, both the ear cups got dials to adjust the volume and noise cancellation level. This is the best functionality on this headphone that no other headphones can really talk about. When you need to increase or decrease the volume or noise cancellation level, these dials are so helpful that you don't need to use gestures or touch controls or do anything of anything at all. So I would suggest every other headphone manufacturer to include this functionality. These headphones are so comfortable. The ear pads gives you great comfort while using it. I haven't had any discomfort when use it for longer hours. When I say longer hours, three to four hours. If you start using it for five to six hours continuously, you will start feeling the heat like every other headphones. 13 levels of noise cancellation, that's some insane number of levels for noise cancellation. When I tested, the ANC is good, but it's not perfect. I tried the lowest level to the highest. The dial to adjust the levels is great, but I still don't think it is the best. So that definitely goes to Sony's headphones. They are the champion in the market at the moment. But when you're not using it, when you're not playing anything at all on this headphone, but still wearing it, it gives you a idle noise, some kind of white noise. That's very annoying and can give you headache. These headphones cover your ears so well and no sound goes out. So when it comes to sound, they have some amazing sound coming out of these headphones. And those who want to use it to listen to music or gaming, this is a headphone that you would want to use for a cheaper price. So I had no issues with the sound. It has very good bass. Mids and lows were great too. So sound quality is great. Working from home has been a routine for the last six months due to COVID. I've been looking for a headphone that actually can help me continue my work. And whenever I used my earbuds or other headphones that I have. Most of the time, my colleagues used to complain about the quality of my voice. They could not hear most of the time, then Bluetooth drops, and there could be some or the other situation that can create trouble during my meetings. When I got this one, I immediately started using it. The result is amazing. That's great. The calls were clear, and my voice was very clear to the callers. I could hear the caller so well, so the dual mic delivers absolutely. This is a mic test using Microsoft Surface Headphone 2. Let me know what you guys think about the quality of the mic. Microsoft promises 20 hours of battery with ANC on. During my testing, I don't think it managed to deliver more than 13 to 14 hours of battery, but still okay. No big deal. The battery gets charged uh, in two hours. I don't have much complain there. Bluetooth 5.0 also support dual point connectivity. 
This is so helpful. You can connect to two devices at the same time and switch between two devices based on which one is active. There are some interesting features that are really helpful. For one, in your announcements. When you switch on the headphone, it will announce how much battery power you have. Two hours left. Connected to Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G7. It also says Goodbye. It also has Cortana support. So you could talk to it. So the big question, should you buy one? I would say go ahead. For a price tag of $249, it's worth it. Go ahead and get it. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't, please subscribe so that you get to watch all those great videos that are published here. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.